When last we left whatever we have that passes for heroes, they had fought off a attempt on their lives at the docks shortly after having acquired a new crew member, Evelyn the Cultist, from the Order of the Obelisk, quite interested in traveling to the Obelisk herself, a worshiper of the strange gray tower that had appeared in the center of the Isles only 50 years ago. And, and that's basically it. I, <laughs> I don't really remember. <laughs> Great. Um, yes. So, uh, you guys had gone to the town of Chundertown, which is uh, kind of a little shanty town sort of thing. Gone up into the jungle, found a bunch of cultists. Uh, you'd been sent here by some people from uh, Halfwater uh, because you were searching for uh, the person who has been calling himself uh, Bromir, uh, but is apparently very much not Bromir. Um, and upon arrival, uh, didn't learn much about his particular whereabouts other than he likely had continued on to the obelisk at some point. Um, but did come across the cultists, um, which he had a brief exchange with them, uh, managed to avoid getting into a fight there. Instead, um, Evelyn, who was the leader of that particular coven, had uh, decided to come along with you um, as you were in search of Bromir, and knowing that Bromir had most likely headed to the obelisk, wanted to come along. Um, you returned back to the docks, and then you got attacked. Uh, and then you fought him off, and you managed to save Legs' life. So, uh, good job, good job, boys. We uh, we keep Legs alive, boys. <laughs> Despite somebody's best efforts, <laughs> there was a lot of friendly fire going on, and by a lot, I mean only one person's case of friendly fire. <laughs> but it still tonight. happened. Yeah. Hmm? Who's not here tonight? No, yeah. Evelyn's here. Yeah, Evelyn didn't uh, hit Evelyn anybody. Did. Evelyn's the one I'm really firing on that, not break for her. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, Evelyn Evelyn caught Macius in the side. <laughs> I Evelyn, remember that now. Evelyn had like the worst roles <laughs> like in like inhumanly possible. Yeah. Um so with us and we're still on the dock. Yes, so we basically left off immediately after finishing that fight. So uh you guys are just sort of milling around the docks. Um for Brayborn, because Thad's not here, um, we're going to basically have him get on the boat uh, and then I'll figure out what to do with him based on what happens after that. But I'm not, I'm not going to try to do his voice or character. Or Is he finally sick after eating all those rotten foods? Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's pretty good. That's my closest Abby, approximation. Really? That's all you have to do? Just tell Brayboy to go do something. And <laughs> <just> go, <"Yer." laughs> uh, yeah, so um, you got back to the docks. You brought Evelyn with you. Um, she was saying that the dude probably went to the obelisk. Um, you also have the option of like going back to Halfwater, searching around there um, for any additional clues. Or whatever you want, really. You could just tool around the islands if you wanted to. Evelyn might complain if you don't go to the obelisk, but that's about it. She wants us to go right there. Just hop on the boat. Uh, I mean, stuff. seems like what she wants to do, but yeah. We already looted these fools, right? Yeah, yes. well, yeah, looted them right before we left. Now that we have defeated them, I would very much like to go to the obelisk in search of this imposter that you have you have been uh, encountering she said with probably the fifth different voice i've used for her. <laughs> i was like who's that <laughs> <laughs> i couldn't remember what voice i had for her cuz i only like voiced her for like 3 seconds last time <clears throat> what, what, what do you guys say you want to you want to get out of here yeah um i got a feeling what little bit of town population here probably not going to be happy with us. 
leaving this mess of bodies in the water and on the docks. Yeah, we've already it is, uh, done it is quite night. a bit. It's worth mentioning. It's night. Okay. It's night. Well, okay. Okay, so no one's probably saw shit. In that case, well, it doesn't really matter. We should probably leave. Yeah, let's let, let's go. I, I'm down to get on the boat. All right, okay. Captain. Like my father. Captain Macius boards the boat. Uh, Adobo just kind of walks Mike into the water. In the water. Just... <laughs> Want to go for a little swim before we jump in? Adobo decides life isn't worth living. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you successfully uh, board the boat. You manage to get it out to sea. Um, Legs does a little bit of shenanigans with the ropes to uh, untie it, and then also like climb up one of the ropes to get onto the the ship but for some reason or another it seems like he's done that before so he's able to get on the boat and you are pushed away and off to sea mm-hmm. um so where are you headed should we I say we set a course for the obelisk oh shit all right yeah let's do it there's no other um named towns anywhere so it looks like the obelisk is definitely the next stop. There Sorry, are, yeah. what? I, I can't hear you, Dobo. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Damn, are you okay, man? You sound awful. I know, I sound like shit. It's the end. It's the end of me being sick, and it's always bookended by fucking losing my voice, which is awesome. It almost hurts <laughs> to listen to you. Fuck. <laughs> it's actually yeah. pretty entertaining yeah, for me, this? so I'm okay. I think it evens out. <laughs> so, so yes, we will definitely keep it short tonight. <laughs> No, we'll just have a double does. lead everything. <laughs> yeah. I'll just, I'll just grunt. I'll just take over the orc side and just grunt at everything. Mm. Where, where, where do you want to go, buddy? Where do you want to go? Like the captain, the ship, Adobo. <laughs> <laughs> want to recite the alphabet for us real fast? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. I mean, I remember you asked pretty early on if you were, you know, similar to legs. And I think you might be similar to that. I don't know, man. <laughs> All right. All right. To to the obelisk. So you begin to come in. Come on. You begin to sail off in the direction of the obelisk. Um, and as you begin to approach it, and you're passing these uh, sort of charred, gray-looking mountains over here. Uh, you start to see this just massive amounts of wreckage from ships that have approached the obelisk and something has happened. There's just wreckage all around. Uh, Evelyn? Uh, were these here? I'm guessing these have been here. You've I've, seen these wrecks. I've, I've never been this close to the to the master. Oh. Oh. Never been here? Are you kidding me? Hey, this the is master. good. Oh, yeah. So, wait, wait, wait. Uh, okay. Blind leading the blind here. All right, then. I master? Perfectly. Thank you. Did we go over this? Master? Yes, I, the, 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 the obelisk, the master. Have you ever been to the obelisk before? No, she's, no, she's never been this close. So I would uh, assume that would mean she's never actually been there. I feel like this is a moth to, a moth to the flame right now. I teleported. No. <laughs> <laughs> Smart ass. <laughs> this is like a moth to the flame. Like she's using us to get close we, to this thing. We must approach the master. No, that that's not a thing. That's a weird one. <laughs> but but lady lady Herbert the pervert was not too bad. Or whatever his name is. Yeah. Do you guys tr- I, I wanna pull the um Adobo and um Davis? Davis? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, aside away from Evelyn and uh, just have a couple words. To, do you, should we trust her? I mean, should we trust her? She seems nuts. This doesn't seem safe. Well, it seemed like a good idea last time or earlier today, I guess. I mean, has anything really changed? We can roll sense motive if you want. Oh, cool. Or wait, what's it called? Uh, it's not sense motive anymore. Insight. Um, 
Yes. Yeah, insight. Who does that? All of us? Uh, you, any, anybody who wants to question question uh, Evelyn's motives. That sounds like you, Shizzle. I mean... Eight it's, from me. it's definitely not going to be Macy's. Yes. Okay, I'll, I'll do it to you. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't actually going to question it. Uh, I mean, if if your character isn't is just convinced that Evelyn's fine, then I, I was convinced just purely because I, I have nothing. I have no of nothing else we should actually be RPing right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I no, I, I would. Let's I would definitely. Here. If she's never <laughs> been there, this is a little sketchy. I mean, you guys, you, you guys can act like fuck. fuck off and do whatever you want. Also, like you don't necessarily have to follow these random breadcrumbs. Uh, can we uh, just survey the island that we're passing? Is there like a place to 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 port or to dock so or anything? The island that you're passing, it's very very rocky and craggy. Um, there's actually very little beach on it. The the little map that I drew doesn't like really present it very well. Mm -hmm. Um, it's like it looks like a uh, uh, it it looks Agro like what you. Crag. It looks like an aggro crag. <laughs> uh, it looks like like a, it would have been a, a volcanic island, except you can't see any signs of an actual volcano. It just and looks like on top. And there's snow on top. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's no snow on top. No. I guess we keep we, we keep going towards the obelisk. We, we got to. Uh, it will be very, very difficult to navigate. Can we pull up PUBG and just do a lap around it first? <laughs> just, just to make sure it doesn't do anything. Wait, you mean like, <laughs> like looking for open windows? <laughs> yeah. See if we get shot. Okay, uh, but the uh, the circle is starting to close in, and uh, oh, you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, all those kids even in. You have to go back to my account. No, come on. <laughs> We're wasting so much gas out here. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah you can like sort of survey it from a distance so you sort of like try to uh maintain a path um around the outside of the obelisk just like looking for anything it looks like like basically the the section that you're going through immediately around it is uh there's uh there's wreckage that's floated out that way um but nothing too bad um most of the wreckage you can't came avoid from the island uh no most of the wreckage is actually like in the like if you were actually in the square where the obelisk is there's tons of wreckage there mm. Jesus uh, Christ. to the point that you you would probably have to like actually push through some of it and hope that it like floats off to the side um can everybody Shit. roll uh what's the role i'm looking for uh investigation Macius successfully finds his own ass. <laughs> <laughs> it was a successful roll. Oh, 19 no. from Dallas. Oh. Okay, so, yeah. Macius uh, pulls out an old uh, uh, spyglass that was somewhere on the ship and is peering through it. However, it's very, very gross and dirty, so he's actually having a lot of difficulty really seeing it. And he's anything. looking through it backwards. Do you guys have a better <laughs> one of these? <laughs> uh, meanwhile, uh, as you're continuing to uh, basically do laps around the obelisk, which is difficult because that's not really how wind works, but whatever. Um, <laughs> you're continuing to sort of just circle the obelisk looking for anything. Um, Davis and Adobo notice that one of the ships has, it appears to have sustained less damage than the others. Uh, and it appears to have a uh, ramp leading from it up to a small crack in the side of the obelisk. Like oh, someone sure. has, has taken parts of the other wrecked ships and leaned them up against the obelisk from the, the less damaged ship. Do we have um mm -hmm. like a small uh a small I uh, clean thingy? off uh 
Macius is uh, <laughs> spyglass and point it towards what, what we see. What do you see? Explain it. What do your elf eyes see? Uh, so yeah, it looks like it looks like there's a ship. Uh, it can have been there for s- super long. Um, like if it, if it's been there for more than a few days, it's only been like a week or two. Um, it has definitely sustained some damage, um, mostly on the front, like the the bow of the ship. Um, and it's uh, it's there's you don't see anyone on the ship, but you do see that there's a crack in the side of the obelisk um, and a ramp leading up to it from that ship. Is there a, is there a dinghy on the ship? Like, can we just drop into it and then go? Like a little uh, a small, like a rowboat, boat. yeah, a raft. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got like a a rowboat that you could drop off <clears> if you want. Right. It would still be relatively difficult to navigate through the uh, ships that are there, but much less than trying to get your actual ship. Yeah. The ship's pretty powerful. We can just plow right in there, I think. It's, I think Maybe that's what we my shouldn't father would do. Pl- at plowing speed, but we could gently push stuff away <laughs> as we go forward. Could we trust Evelyn to cast something? Like some kind of push or some kind of thing? Something to basically... Uh, pressure the, the push the spread the water aside to separate I don't know why I'm asking you. Evelyn come over here Dobo has a question for you <laughs> hello what can... uh, yes may I help um what school of magic uh, are you proficient in I uh I do as the master wills okay that doesn't answer my question I'm crazy she's nuts <laughs> no one has a barrier that <laughs> Let's just go right through, guys. Okay. We'll yeah. be fine. All right. Trust me. I could try and start fucking zapping the boats with the, the wreckage with Eldr- Eldritch Blast. I think it'd be kind of a bitch, though. It's yeah. a powerful ship. We'll be fine. All right. I said right. we just plow right through. I'm the captain. Yeah, hold it. Guys. <laughs> I want this to be like a flash forward five minutes later, and it's like, well... <laughs> you drag yourself out of the water onto the island. We're holding on to wreckage. <laughs> it's playing Titanic. I'll never let go, Macius. And then they all drown. <laughs> <No. laughs> Alright, let's do we'll it. We'll be yeah. fine. Let's go in. Alright. Alright. Doing it. So you hire me as your captain. i we're gonna do it this way. I don't know if we hire yeah, we you. Hire you. Well, I, I get, get paid. Related to one of the greatest captains. Let's <laughs> <laughs> just go in. We got it. Um, something to go in? Yeah, I'm trying to decide what I should have you roll. Is there a captain proficiency? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't appear to be. <laughs> um, probably acrobatics would be the closest. Acrobatics? Like for spinning the wheel appropriately or something oh, oh, like as you're as you're driving stretch. the ship oh, yeah it's okay. a stretch but it's better than history <laughs> your history great good make roll a, make a perception roll i don't know um actually i'm sorry i did acrobatics no that's fine because you rolled it before no, that's I okay it. anyway i thought i had an acrobatics ring on me I was going to say, put this on. Uh, <laughs> I honestly, I probably should have just had it be like a intelligence roll or something. No, nope, we, we go straight there. He <laughs> breaks slides in. That's 20. <laughs> so you you sail towards the obelisk. At alarming speed, frankly, um, <laughs> slow down. What are you doing? <laughs> I will make it. I said slowly push through. You, you start to collide with uh, different bits of wreckage, but uh, Macius thus far has managed to deftly uh, position the ship so that as it collides with things, it never never takes like a so anything that would puncture it head on. Always glances off the side of it. Um, ship definitely sustains a fair amount of damage, um, but it manages to avoid uh, too many massive uh, massive collisions, and you do eventually reach. Uh, near where the uh, where you see the uh, the other boat, um, to to a point where you could you could pretty easily get to it with uh, your little little rowboat. Told you, you. Have, 
You have you definitely <laughs> you have definitely you sustained damage. Start. Oh, you know it wasn't a nat twenty. He got plus two on it. Yeah. No, he breaks leg. It's all right. Maybe next time, Aces. Yeah, you know I got us here. We're we're good. Still above um, water, so yeah, it's progress. Yeah. I start looking over the side, looking for structural <clears throat> damage. Hundred percent. And then just then. Hundred <laughs> percent structural damage. Water comes fucking leaking through. You are, uh, I uh, like you. I assume you're all on the deck of the ship, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. So is the, ob the obelisk isn't like it, it's coming out of the water and going straight into the air? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like there, there doesn't appear to be any sort of, like it, it, it almost looks like a giant, like the Washington Monument, but fucking mm -hmm. massive, sticking straight up in the sky. Um, and there's no like, uh, <laughs> like other than the the scorched island to the southwest, there's no land near the obelisk. It's just coming straight up out of the water. You guys want to get in, in the dinghy and bring Evelyn over? And boy, I don't know what we do with this thing. Do we touch it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm always tempted to tie a rope to the dinghy and then put Evelyn in it and let her go over and see what happens. No, we all good to go. <laughs> we can only... I haven't seen Brayborn. Is he still below deck? Is he going to defend the ship, I guess? Yeah. Are going to run down there, buddy? Yeah. I forgot. I forgot that Brayborn was down on the thing. <laughs> 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 he, uh, he actually runs, uh, runs up from below deck and, uh, in some fashion manages to convey to you guys that uh you have sustained a couple of small leaks in the in the hold so it sounds like he's the one that's gonna have to hang out here and do the repair i imagine he wrote that down on paper at this point <laughs> all right go hold go hold your finger the ship the is going to sink <laughs> go hold your finger and each of the vaguely transylvanian when i do that <laughs> Oh my god. One, two, three leaks. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys want to do? You want to send Evelyn out there? Uh, uh, Everyone, go patch up the holes with your fingers. Just hold it, hold it in there for the entire episode. I mean, yeah. just, just go hold it. Just hold, hold it down for now. I'm not entirely sure if we're being overcautious by sending her first and then just tying a rope to the dinghy and then just pulling the dinghy back if she happens to like fucking dissolve or something crazy when yeah, she touches it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we could be overcautious or we could just get in. I feel in like and there go. might be like a hidden entrance or some crap like that, and she's mm -hmm. just gonna disappear in there if we leave her alone as well. Yeah, not that she's been the most useful of teammates. Right, we, need, we, we need collateral from her. Oh yeah, it's true. That's true. Man, we get all get in the dinghy, then we'll make sure she doesn't do anything sketchy. She's I don't trust her. I don't trust her. Yeah, yeah. We should have her with us, close to us, she so could... we can Yeah. You know, she... Is she gonna summon something here? I don't know. What is this <laughs> the ritual is now complete. <laughs> yeah. I have brought fresh sacrifices. <laughs> let's all get it let's all get in the dinghy. Sounds good. All right. All right, so uh, Adobo, Davis, Macius, and Evelyn all getting in the dinghy? Yeah, we'll leave Brayborn here. Leaving Brayborn and think? Legs? Oh, yeah, Legs. Do you want to take Legs? Uh, Davis, this could be another shot. I mean, we already have Brayborn on the ship, so Legs can come with us. <laughs> it took me a second to process what you meant by that. Yeah, you're going to push him off the dinghy. Up, <laughs> Legs is more reliable. So we're good. <laughs> all right, yeah, let's bring him. All right, we're all going. All I right. mean, I mean, legs did a damn good job holding the ship before, right? Legs. I I have the boat, boss. Damn I did. I did let holding him. The boat and uh, probably any doors too. I I held the door, boss. Well, it was a boat that time, but I'm saying you're probably good at holding a lot of things. Let's go. Hop in the I, boat. I don't understand, boss. Let's get, let's get in the boat. <laughs> All right, so y'all hop in the, uh, you throw the anchor down, uh, so that it doesn't drift into any of the nearby wreckage, or at least not very, very, mar very far. Uh, Brayborn goes down uh, into the hold and starts trying to patch up the ship, uh, to whatever degree of success that's likely to happen for Brayborn. Um, 
The rest of you hop into the dinghy. No, no, he's holding his fingers in the holes. <laughs> I'm just going to make That's... that noise anytime he would have said something. Seems like that that would be something he would actually do. <laughs> what, what does con- when I told him to patch him up. What does a conversation between legs and, and derp sound like? If I'm just paraphrasing both of them? <laughs> yes, be please. like... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boss. <laughs> All right, let's get in. Let's go. All right. Uh, so you get down uh, into the dinghy, you get you lower it down and everything. Start uh, um, sort of rowing over. Your legs just grabs the oars and starts rowing over to the to the thing. He breaks uh, slide legs. What? Hmm? He breaks slide. Breaks. Okay, yeah, sure. He, he power slides. Slide. He power slides around some corners. Oh, Tokyo we're drift. Tokyo drift. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, you we'll get closer. As you get closer and closer to the boat, uh, you can see it is actually punctured in several areas, but it actually appears to be like at the or t- towards the one that you're, you're you're heading towards that the ramp is leaning up against. It actually appears to be like just on top of seven or eight other ships worth of wreckage that is just sort of floating there on top of. Damn! Like it, it looks, it looks an awful lot like someone has been smashing boats uh, almost together to make like a little island of junk um, and that this boat just happens to be resting on the top of it. Well, that's uh, something. Uh, <laughs> continue that's heading towards... Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're going in. <laughs> continue heading towards it uh, and eventually you get to a point where you reach kind of the edge of the island of junk. It doesn't look too stable to stand on at the edge. Um, you could maybe try and find a... Uh, a section to like try and climb onto the the pile of wreckage uh, and climb up from there um or you could like try and uh throw a rope or something uh or any other options that i may not have thought of uh shit uh throw a rope yeah yeah i'll throw a rope okay like yeah. trying to yeah trying to hook it onto something yeah yeah and get closer Okay. Um. So, I think, man, I don't even know what to call that. Maybe just a dexterity check. Easy. Hang on. That's my specialty. <clears throat> Wait, is that? Is that oh, that's that's not a saving throw. Never mind. No, no, it's just a dexterity roll. Um. Oh, is that? Did I do the right? Oh, one? damn. Uh, it would be that minus two to be your just your dexterity roll. I don't know why okay. you have five. Oh, because you have two from uh, your proficiency bonus. I see. Um, no, but your proficiency. No, we'll we'll call that good. We'll call that good. Um, that makes sense. So twenty-one to uh, just sort of lasso some piece of wreckage. Uh, you do actually manage to grab a hold of a, a solid bit of looks like like part of a mast or something um, that's sticking up out of the out of the pile, um, and although you can't get the dinghy too much closer without just jabbing it into bits of wreckage on the end, uh, you do manage to uh, get get a rope that's now secured to something on the inside. All right, e- Evelyn, is it? What are we supposed to be doing here, Evelyn? We must, we must reach the master. The master is the one that can, can help them. We must. Right. Yeah. Where is she's, he? She's like visibly going more and more crazy the closer that you get to the obelisk. Yeah. Uh, if you can hold it together for just a little bit here, we need, you need to know like where we should be, you know, docking sorry, this uh, little rowboat here so we can actually get off of it and, uh, you know, there, figure there out is... the whole purpose. We're here. You know, we're not really seeing any good spots. Maybe I mean, you have a little bit of insight on that. No, I've I've never never been here before. I I, I can't tell. Never heard of like a you know go around the southeast side, look for this. Nothing, nothing like that. The the sheer fact that someone has managed to wound the master thusly and she like motions towards the crack in the obelisk uh, indicates that someone quite powerful has been here. 
Uh, well, shit. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that's uh, a little unnerving. <laughs> so, so, is there a place we can get off the boat? Is the crack big enough we can go through it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's big enough. It looks like like the, the way the ramp is leading up to it. It looks like someone has actually gone through the crack in the side of it. Um. So, uh, with the with the rope attached, you could, um, like just try and step off and use the rope to climb up in uh like step off of the dinghy and try to use the the rope to to climb up to get inside um it's like the 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 bit of mass that you've hung it off of is kind of leaning over uh over the the stuff a little bit so you could like theoretically like um it, it looks like the the wreckage gets more and more firm the closer you get to the center of the pile so i guess you could like um, jump off and swing over or something. I don't know how you'll get back, but it's a possibility. This all sounds so risky. <laughs> it's, it's it sounds very much place. like a one-way trip. It does. Are we going to die here? Um, I'm brave. I'll swing over. You guys can come after me if you... If you... Uh, yeah, you, well, you, well, you're we'll... probably the lightest here, so we'll see if you can support your weight. Because <laughs> if it can't support yours, then we'll we'll catch you, or legs will jump in and catch you. Six foot, and six then we'll foot two, 115 here. pounds. Hello, I'll come, <laughs> I'll come get you back, boss. Uh, I'll be fine. And if it can support you, then we'll take whatever route you can take in. I think we, I got this. I, I got this. You got this. Just psych yourself up. Just You got yep, this. Yep. I got my equipment. Let me see. Do I need anything else? Um, let me take this food. Uh, okay, just in case. Uh, all right, I'm gonna swing the rope around and uh, what, do I have to hook it to something again and then swing? I think it's already hooked. It, it's, no, already it's already hooked. hooked. You, could, you, could swing swing you just, you just gotta climb and then land on something and swing inside from that platform. All right, here I go. Swing across the gap. Do Indiana Jones music. Okay, uh, yeah. this is definitely an acrobatics roll. No oh, fuck. Yeah! Oh, okay, well, God. <laughs> Snap. Oh, <laughs> Sploosh right in the water. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> uh, okay. No, ten, ten, is, 10 is fine. You, you swing across. Uh, you kind of get halfway over there and you have to look around for a little while to uh, find a spot that looks relatively safe to land on. So you're just kind of swinging back and forth for a little while. Um, but you eventually... Take the jump already! Get off the damn rope! <laughs> you eventually find, like... It looks like a, a large section of the deck of a previous ship that's sort of sitting on the top. Um, and you manage to let yourself off of the rope at an angle where you, you land on that. And don't sink in and die. Oh. Yep, something happened here. Yeah, we, we kind of pieced someone together already. <laughs> All right, come stable? on over. Yeah, no it should be. Noises. Yeah, it totally no should be fine. All right. Uh, I guess I'll go next. Go for it. Acrobatics? Yep. Oh, <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Jesus, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Four or fourteen. <laughs> All right, Davis manages to uh, to land on the the little section of deck that Macius is standing on. Also, it's starting to kind of creak a little bit uh, under the weight of the the two of you. Um, but seems hey, to be holding. Maybe we for should now. push a little closer inside. Yeah, or maybe we should just have legs stay in the in the dinghy. Yeah, that sounds good. No, All we should right. have legs inside. Uh, I'm, I, I, am I staying or am I going, boss? Stay. No, you're, you're, you're coming. Yeah, he's going to break the cup. Yeah. Him. Does he get to roll too, or are you just going to decide his fate? Uh, he'll roll. Oh, man. Uh, does he throw the rope back to him? I assume. Yeah. That's Davis. Wait, I'm I, at, rope last I, haven't, I haven't crossed yet, but I kind of want legs to oh, go yeah, first. Oh, yeah, no, I let go of it. Do you, so you want legs to jump over to the deck, or you want... I want legs to go first, yeah. Fuck! Oh no! I'm gonna make it, boss. 
legs jumps off. The dinghy just like swings wildly under his weight as he jumps off. Boom, he gets baby. like halfway across, loses control of the rope, then smashes into a big old pile of wood, goes underwater. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Dobo, you want to fish him out? <laughs> Someone pull the rope. <laughs> yeah. Um, what do I have? He, lost, he lost grip on the rope. The, <laughs> the rope is just hanging there now. Yeah. Adobo, uh, you're closest. Help him. Uh, yeah. So, uh, do I have anything in the boat to like reach out? You got the oars, man. Throw the oars over or right. reach with the oars. All right. Yeah. So I reach out with a, with a, I grab an oar and I reach he's, out. He's too far away to reach with an oar. Okay. So I, I start fucking rowing. <laughs> All right, like you can you can get a little bit closer, but you really can't get the the dinghy that much closer to where he fell in. Like he's he's in wreckage. Um, it's just clear that the part of the wreckage he went he knocked through and went underwater. Do we do the waters turn red? No. <laughs> did, his, did, no. His, did his shoes come off? No, he's looking. Like you can you can sort of hear it like <laughs> every on. once in a while he like comes up from under under the water and just goes blah, 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 and goes back underwater again. Well, we're like all way up there, so it's, it's all you, buddy. Good luck. Yeah, you gotta um, save him. We need our meet. <clears throat> I mean, our uh, we need our uh, our uh, right, first you mate. Said the, you said the uh, the 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 what's it called? Um, you can't the really rope, the rope is the out of reach as well, right? You yeah. can't really roll the boat closer. I think there's, there's more well. rope on the dinghy, but um, oh, there's more rope on the dinghy. The the one that he has is now just sort of sitting out there. All right, um, I'm gonna swim out with the rope, uh, and I'm not dumb enough to try to hold him or let him grab a hold of me. I didn't realize that he couldn't swim. Is that the case? Oh, double arena, uh, legs can't swim. Uh, it seems that way. Yeah. Fucking Jesus Christ, of course. Jesus Christ. Pretty points can be so fucking fist. <laughs> All right. It's only if we get him killed. Okay? <laughs> All right. Um I wanna tie boss. Wait, can I um uh is the rope within reach from the water? Uh yeah, it's sort of like if you can so there there's like just uh <clears throat> like a coating along the top of the water almost of wreckage here and there. It's just clear that the farther away from the ship that sort of propped up on it at the center of this little fake island next to the uh, uh, obelisk, it's it's firmer. And then as it gets away from that, it's like moving around with the waves a lot more and is clearly like less a able to be stood on. All right. Uh, I'm going to tie a rope to the uh, to the dinghy to something, a bench in the dinghy or something and uh, okay. swim at the other end. Um, I want to attach it to any piece of firm-ish uh, wreckage that I could find uh, that's on the opposite side of Adobo, so that way he has kind of like a tight rope of sorts to at least be able to hold on to and keep himself afloat, and he could use it to guide himself either back to the boat or to the wreckage. Okay. So you have a, a rope tied to the dinghy, and then uh, you're just swimming with it, basically? Yeah. and uh, Trying to work your way through the wreckage? Yeah, working way through the wreckage with the other end, and then ideally create uh, I can't just give it to him because he'll fucking sink with the with the rope in hand and drown at the end of the rope underneath the water. Um, so ideally, I want to tie it to another piece of wreckage that's uh, buoyant enough to support his weight, and then he could just kind of use it to either get back to the dinghy or get to the the the, the wreckage. What do I roll for that? <laughs> uh, acrobatics, probably. Okay. <clears throat> really, not athletics. <laughs> Um, actually, yeah, athletics would probably make sense for okay. this one because this is more of a strength focus thing. Oh my god! Adobo and legs are dead. <laughs> now the Macias and Davis show, <laughs> starring a bitch with that friendly fires. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting a no. <laughs> uh, okay, so you manage to uh, you swim out a ways, and you eventually come across uh, a fairly firm piece of uh, like some some kind of record. You know, oh, you come across baby. a fairly firm piece of it. Uh, however, the, by the time you find it, um, you're actually a fair ways away from legs. Still, you can see the other rope. 
that's uh that's hanging and legs is somehow managing to at least like grab onto bits of wreckage that are near him he's not like drowning he's just sort of flailing at the moment um uh but he's like he's having a bad time why did we bring legs like <laughs> wait hang on can either of our half orcs swim at this point probably not <laughs> <laughs> all right um I mean, it help? looks it looks like Adobo is struggling down there. Macius, what do you think? I love how we're just standing here just watching this happen. <laughs> we can't. We're like fucking ten, what, 10, 20 feet up in the in the can air. You, can the you deck? use like Eldritch Blast or whatever to just? I, I don't have push. a fucking levitate spell, man. <laughs> can you just like unless push. you want me to fucking like roast the water around you with burning hands? I mean, like, what do you I'll want? Take, I'll take burning floating wreckage for a thousand, Alex. <laughs> well, you know, I could actually do Mage Hand on him, pull him out. Yeah. I could. Uh, I don't think Mage Hand can lift that much. Can it? Uh, I th choose one. It, it the other dies. <laughs> no, you know, I think it's. I think it actually has. A limit. I think it actually has a limit of five pounds. Hang on. A limit of five pounds. What the fuck? You yeah. Pick up a well, it's basically it's like, a happy meal. It's basically with that. like stealing shit behind people's back. Oh. Okay. Save. Um. Uh, thirty feet away from you. You can use your action controller hand and manipulate an object, open a door, container, store, achieve it. Doesn't really actually have a. Oh, or carry more than 10 pounds. Yeah. There you go. Jesus yeah. Christ. I could bring a rope to them with the hand. That's about it. I Maybe could, I could but... shoot a rope out. If, that's if it's all within 30 feet, I don't even know oh, if it is. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Can you do that? I have no idea. Like shoot it at the, shoot it at the uh, dinghy. That's exactly what I was trying to accomplish in the first yeah. place. Shoot a what now? Shoot a rope to, uh, with an arrow, or shoot an arrow tied to a rope. Tie a rope around the arrow, shoot it, hit it into the dinghy, or to a piece of wreckage that's close to them. There you go. Uh, you, you can just say no. It's it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you you could theoretically shoot an, a rope arrow, but with what rope? Uh, he might have some in one of his adventures pack. Oh, yeah. I don't know Where what kind of backpack he took. I don't remember choosing a backpack. Yeah, you're supposed to pick like one type of backpack. I have a scholar's backpack, so I'm fucking useless. If you have a Dungeoneer's one or something like that, you should have a rope. You have an Explorer's uh, pack. I think my home's Oh, I have a Dungeoneer's pack. Maybe you're, you're the one drowning. <laughs> you're drowning right now. I mean, I could like, I don't know, pull my shit together. Explorers. <laughs> like, so you're you're not actually. Uh, so Adobo. Fifty feet of hemp and rope. So he, ha if he has an explorers one, uh, Macy should have some. Okay. Yeah. So you do have. Oh, okay. So I'll, oh, I'll take a piece piece of the rope out and uh, tie it to my arrow, and attempt to shoot it at a close peak at, piece of at like the boat, around. which only has Evelyn in it. Yeah, yes. I, yes. You want me to shoot the boat? <laughs> Well, I don't know. I thought that's what you're gonna do. Uh, I was gonna shoot, you, shoot it, like shoot a piece it wherever of, you want to. A wreckage that, and then they could just grab onto the piece of floating wreckage, <laughs> and then we could just yeah. pull them in. I mean, at worst, with a shitty roll, you'll hit one of us and still accomplish the same thing. That's why I was hoping you would just shoot the boat and then like sit in a lineup and then like maybe Evelyn and like the knee or something. I mean, he's already been hit by her. It could be paper. <laughs> yeah. I guess wreckage works nearby for you since you guys. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, whatever. And then we'll just pull them over. All right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, whatever it works. Okay. Um, so, uh, Adobo is fine-ish at the moment. He's very wet and in the water, but he's managed to find a, a section of relatively firm wreckage, so he's, uh, he's not Adobo. quite the end of Titanic just yet. Adobo, don't mm. move. Just keep holding onto that piece. I'm mm. gonna aim for the piece that he's holding onto. Oh, fuck. Alright. I'm a sharpshooter. My dad was a captain. Longbow. Beat me. Uh, yeah, just go ahead and make an attack roll, I guess. Don't move. All right. <laughs> Maybe mm. get back in the water. Oh, 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 oh. I get plus seven. <laughs> What's that mean? You do have a plus seven <laughs> right through his hand or something. <laughs> yeah, that's open. That's what I was gonna tell him to get back in the water, man. <laughs> um. So yeah, I think actually because you're aiming at an inanimate object, it doesn't have any armor class. I actually think that is a hit. So 
I think I think you managed to get the arrow at least to the thing. It doesn't really stick into it very well, mm-hmm. uh, but there is now an, a, a new bit of rope next to Adobo. Mm-hmm. And we have the other end. Oh, there you go. You said it's 50 feet, right? The rope length? Yeah. Uh, well, the, the total is, length is it's not. Yes. Yeah, you're not, not 50 feet. Yeah. From okay. Now. Okay. Okay. Then that's not bad then. Um, I could grab a hold of the rope uh, and then just like wrap my legs around legs. <laughs> and then, uh, then you guys can pull us in. All right. All right. Let's pull them in. All right. You, you start pulling him in. Uh, Dennis, we're going to need your help for this. Yeah. Are you both pulling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm pulling. Yeah. Can pulling. you both do strength rolls real quick? Thirteen for Macius. Fucking Christ, man! Five what for the fuck? Oh, what a lot of help you are. <laughs> so I'm not, Macius, wearing, I'm not wearing my, uh, my gloves right now. Macius. <laughs> Steps up to the edge of the ship and starts pulling ah, on the rope. Rope burns. Ah, no. <laughs> Davis, Davis steps up behind and starts pulling on the rope, but only enough to make it look like he's pulling on the rope. And... <laughs> he gets the he gets line tension, but that's it. <laughs> uh, Macius is pulling and pulling and pulling. Adobo, as you're you're going through the water, you're like pushing bits of. Uh, bits of wreckage aside, and eventually you just run into a, a pretty rough bunch of it, a pretty solid bunch of it um, that doesn't really move when you run into it. Good. You climb up on top of it. Okay. Uh, do an athletics check. Damn. All right. Legs has managed to. Oh, yeah. oh nice. Okay. So you climb up on top of that wreckage, and you you manage to find your find your footing and. Uh, get to a pretty solid spot. You're only about uh, maybe 20 feet from the uh, the deck of the ship that yeah. Macius and Davis are standing on at this point. Legs is right behind me, right? Leg, legs is still over to the side in the other spot where he, he fell through earlier. Um, but he uh, he's managed to grab a hold of enough of the wreckage that he's just sort of floating there with a bunch of bits of wood underneath him now. Alright. Um, I, I, fe- I remember that wood floats, boss. <laughs> good. 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 Um, I'm gonna go over and uh, just lay down flat and help pull him up onto the onto the wreckage. And uh, ideally, in a situation like this, we should not be standing up and walking. We should be kind of crawling and keeping keeping our uh, our body weight spread amongst the wreckage. So that's what we uh, should. Do. You you don't have a rope to. <clears throat> I don't need a rope. Right he's it's <laughs> it's a solid piece of. Uh, he's he said he's on some wreckage, right? Is he on the same like wreckage island that I'm on, or no? No, no, he's he's probably fifteen, right. twenty feet from me. All right. So what you're saying is then, you you did not get to where legs was Got earlier. It. Okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> can I just throw the rope that I was pulled up on over to him? Uh, yeah. Okay. I know we're trying to leave legs behind, but I'm gonna do everything I can not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is that um strength or athletics? Uh, that one might be acrobatics. Really? It might be. A th- I'm honestly not sure. Well, one is one is dexterity and one is strength. Yeah, so it's, it's probably like dexterity. I'm throwing it, and then it's also aim. So I don't know. Yeah, most most thrown weapons use dexterity, so I'm gonna say dexterity. Oh, that makes sense. All right. Oh, pitch! Oh, oh damn! <laughs> oh, damn! <laughs> Looks like legs is coming. All right, you managed to get the rope choice. over next to legs. Uh, he, he grabs a hold of it. He's much heavier than uh, Adobo was. Um, not by a ton, but I guess, but because they're both half orcs, but uh, he's definitely heavier than Adobo was. All right, but there's three of us now. Pull, well, two and a third, I guess. Pulling. There's Davis and Macius still have one under the rope. You have to, you'll have to get to the the ship to help them pull it. Okay, yeah. Um, so that'd be an athletics check to try and navigate the rest of the wreckage to where you can get up onto the. Sounds good. Easy. Ooh. Okay. Uh. So yeah, you managed to navigate around. You you find uh 
an outside bit of the ship that they're on where the, the wood is like all falling apart. Um, and you manage to climb up onto that and join them on the deck. Uh, and then the three of you, I assume, grab a hold of the rope and start trying to pull legs. Yep. Yep. All right. That will be three strength checks again. Don't worry, guys. I don't got this. Maybe I do. Eighteen, nineteen, and a one. It's strength, not strength save, or is it strength save? Oh shit! I hit strength save. Did I? Oh, I had just hit strength. I wasn't sure which one. Um, I think it's just strength. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. He was right. saying, he Before was saying, Mages can even reach, I just fucking... <laughs> he was saving oh, his fucking strength. That's what he was doing. <laughs> yeah. I like how I rolled my fucking nat 20 on this fucking horse shit. This is good. <laughs> so Davis just grabs a hold of the rope. Adobo starts trying to pull on it. Davis is now actually pulling both Adobo and legs <laughs> along the rope. Get out of the way, puny orc! <laughs> Macius, having just done all of the work previously, is content to stand off to the side. Well, uh... All of the work. I mean, he made the line taut. That's about it. No, no. Please you were the one that was just standing behind. You said he managed to put tension on the line. That was it. Because we both no, that failed. Was you. That was you. You, you were like, you. ooh, rope burns. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, fine. Yeah. I didn't think he actually made it. I thought I, thought I fucked up really bad and he fucked up moderately. So you start uh, pulling pulling legs along. He starts bumping into bits of wreckage here and there. He's just sort too, of floating don't along. Don't care. Pulling too fast. <laughs> he eventually starts to smash into bits of wreckage. Boss! 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 Oh, boss. can't hear you. Just <laughs> pulling. <laughs> you eventually manage to like literally pull him across a whole bunch of wreckage. Um, and, until the point where you're like now dragging him across. He's on top of the wreckage now being dragged across. Um, he gets to the side of the side of the ship. Uh, however, he also sustains uh, three points of damage from <laughs> just being dragged across <laughs> ship wreckage. A lot of to splinters, to splinters too. He's got splinters. lots of splinters. This oh, yeah. is a, a small bit of a stick just basically sticking out of his arm. He stands up on some of the the um, wreckage, pulls the stick out of his arm, and goes, ah, "I made it, boss." I'm uh, I'm I'm fine now, boss. I'm uh, I'm a real good swimmer, boss. Okay, uh, you keep telling yourself that. <laughs> Confidence is Here. key. <laughs> All right, uh, help us uh, pull. Uh, the, we're gonna shoot another line over to Evelyn. We'll just pull her over, I guess, the same way. Or all about Evelyn? Does she have a fucking like levitate spell or something? When you uh, when you look over at the uh... if she fucking's magically behind us, I'm gonna fucking cut her fucking head off. When you look over at the dinghy, Evelyn is not in it. Fuck. Did no one see where she fucking went? We were busy. We were a little busy. Oh my god, the dinghy's still there, right? Maybe she's lying down. Bring her with us. Dinghy's still there, yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Ah, uh, we're fucked. Oh, we're fucked. We're fucked. <laughs> We'll figure it out. We're all together. We can go in. It was a fucking trap, man. I said not to trust her. I said <laughs> I, I don't trust her. No one would listen to me. Can everybody roll perception? Everybody? Yeah. Sixteen. Twenty-one. Six. Ouch. Seventeen. Okay. <clears throat> So uh, Davis and Adobo uh, notice that she's just swimming up through some of the wreckage and sort of pushing bits of it aside herself and just swimming towards you guys. And what's Macius doing? Macius. I'm still just cussing her out. <laughs> <laughs> Macius is in a blind rage. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even looking at his spyglass again. <laughs> she's got to steal the boat. We have to horn break for him. <laughs> trust her. Right, she eventually like manages to push her way through the uh just by swimming over um and manages to reach a, a bunch of the wreckage she's basically standing next to legs on a like shelf of wreckage down below the deck where you guys are 
Toss, toss me the rope, please. I'll climb up. Legs, you want to take care of that? You all right, buddy? Can you, can you do that? Uh, oh, I, 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 I need the rope. I need the rope too. I we're we're both standing here right next to each other. Oh, I, see. I thought, Wait, I thought, I thought we dragged this. him. We dragged him over. That's why I got all the splinters. And you dragged you dragged him over, but he wasn't able to climb up onto the thing oh. yet. Like you're uh, you're on the. Drop the we dropped the rope over for them. Okay, you throw a rope over the side. Um, legs. Manages to climb up. Evelyn. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> oh. What? Evelyn gets halfway up the rope when it snaps and she falls back down. This onto is the fucking, and is impaled on the is, ship wreckage. This fucking dice is rigged for Evelyn. Uh, Evelyn, I swear to God. <laughs> I swear. Well, at least she didn't fire off a spell on the fall down. <laughs> Yeah, she's not impaled. She just falls back. Uh, the, the rope is broken, like, up near where you guys are now. But she broke a hip. Uh, you're, you're right down break, there? She's going to take some damage, though. So. <laughs> All right, she took four damage. We all just kind of like, poke our heads over the edge. You all right? That was rather painful. Macius, how's your arm feeling after that burn earlier that she hit you with? I well. I, All right, we're gonna drop another rope over. Hang on. <laughs> I think we should we should have two ropes, like the one Macius and I climbed, and then the one that we shot over to Dobo. And I should get mine back as well. Uh, get it back yeah. after it. I think yours just snapped, actually. Oh shit! Because yours is the one that shot over. Yeah, I don't I don't know if you have another rope. Well, we have two because we Macius and I used one, and then we didn't shoot that one back over. We shot the one from his backpack. The one they, the one that you guys came over on, is the one that you gave to Legs, and that he dropped when he fell in the water. Oh, this is why we don't bring Legs. <laughs> <laughs> I try to leave him like, behind. It's still just this, out there in the in the middle of the wreck. This whole session has been getting Legs, <laughs> and we could have just left them both behind. Oh, uh, don't worry, guys. We have another rope here. Uh, what what happened to the the rope that legs? Did you not? Oh, you left the legs legs with the rope. Where's the rope, legs? It's out in the water, boss. Uh, okay, okay. Um, I I could just throw this rope back up, I suppose. Let let, let me let me try. And so she picks up the the broken rest of the rope that's down there and tries to throw um an end of it up but uh, she's gonna roll one and hit herself in the eye oh, oh, she was God. so close <laughs> she actually manages to Shit. to get it up to the to the edge um and it starts to sort of slide back off but um uh davis you managed to grab it before it slips off the edge all right i guess we'll tie this off and Hope this blank doesn't snap either. All right, so she's gonna try again. Ah, uh, one. All right, this time she manages to uh, a little bit more carefully. This time, climb up the rope. Uh, manages to get onto the deck uh, where you guys are. And congratulations! Uh, an hour later, you've managed to get on top <laughs> of the <Jesus>. deck. <laughs> Jesus. Um, thank God. So yeah, you now are standing at the uh, the edge of uh, the thingy here, the the obelisk. There's that ramp. As now that you're standing on the deck, you're noticing that the way that the uh, waves are wobbling around, that this ramp looks pretty wobbly. Um, and it's not very wide either. It's kind of like it looks like someone took three different masts that they found. Just sort of lashed them together and laid it up against the rope. And we're still outside? You're still outside, yeah. You can see the crack into the obelisk. It looks really dark inside. But they, like, the, the obelisk is massive. Um, the crack that you see is like uh, about two-thirds away across the side that you're on. And the side is probably half a mile long. Half a mile? Jesus, fuck. Yeah. I guess we'll save the torches. 
Well, let's go. Uh... All right, yeah. Uh... yeah. Let's go. All right, let's uh, get Macy's, the lightest. What do you mean? The lightest. <laughs> you have to make sure it holds. You are... It's going to hold. All right. Well, all, right, right. Here, here, here. <laughs> all right. I take the rope that we just used for Evelyn and I tie it along his waist. And then I'm tying it on our side. I'm like, all right. If you fall, you sure you I got gotcha. you. You'll be fine. All right. Okay. All right. You're I'll fine. accept that. Fine. Let's okay. go. All right. Go across. Um, <laughs> know you first. Know you first. <laughs> no, we, we just tied it off. It's the lightest. He's got to go first. Did we ever establish? Yeah, up. Did we ever establish? It Macy's his weight, or have we always just assumed that he's... He's 16. a 16 year old, right? Oh, he's six dots, right? Okay, so we assumed he was, yeah. He's, kinda... he's 16 <laughs> and enormous. No. He's, yeah, <laughs> he's 16, he's obviously 115 pounds. <laughs> he says he's 16, but he's actually 47 16. year old. Yeah, no one checked his ID. Right? <laughs> um, okay, yeah, so that would be a athletics check to go up the the ramp. Right. Oh wait, no acrobat acrobatics. Sorry, I said the wrong thing. I get thank the two. God. Thank God for Jesus obvious Christ. reasons. Yes. <laughs> All right, there you go. Um. So you make it up to the to the crack. Um. The the way that the the actual like once you actually get close enough to the the crack in the side of it, it's clear that the wall of this thing is probably about uh ten feet thick. Um. So the the crack is actually like there's a, a pretty substantial section that you can just stand on up there. It is pitch black inside though. You can you only see torches, the guys. You got torches? Uh, yeah. Check it, your pack. It, it probably has some. Uh, Shit, I can never find anything in here. Dungeoneer's pack, I'm certain, would have a torch at least. Explorer's pack as well. How can you explore without a torch? Poorly. I, I got to see the explorer's pack. Um. Let's see items, explorers pack. If you search in the compendium, it includes a backpack, uh, bedroll, fifty feet of hemp and rope, ten torches. Yeah, so you've got you've got torches. Oh, nice, nice. What is a pipe? Titan? What? I'm just it's a climbing here. spike. Oh, cool. I'm gonna light a torch. Okay. Uh, you light the torch. Um, the light continues for about fifteen feet in front of you, but literally does not go any further. Okay. Like there's some sort of magical darkness that's pushing back against it. Oh, wow. I'll have to do. All right. I guess I'll cross now. Everything looking all right over there. Should be good. All how, right. How long is the gap here? Uh, it, it's, it's not too long to actually, it's like eight feet to get. So you on the deck about eight feet to get up to the, to the crack, the crack. Um, there's like a, a ridge of it that you can walk across. It's about 10 feet thick. That goes in a little bit further, uh, and it basically stops at that point. You can sort of see that the light is traveling a little bit further than that because you can see like little bits of stone and stuff behind it, mm -hmm. um, but you can't make out clearly what it is at this point. All right, uh, I'll cross over. Uh, all right, Davis, you managed to cross. Oh, man. Damn, um, you really can't see shit over here, can you? I, I insist that... Uh, w w this is me over here with legs and uh, Evelyn, right? Evelyn, yeah. All right. You, you insist that Evelyn is Evelyn actually walk. just impatient. Evelyn, Evelyn is tired of waiting, and she's okay, just going to go. Good. Oh, I was going to say, you insist <laughs> on Evelyn and legs crossing at the exact same time. No. All right, Evelyn manages to make it across. All right, now legs. Damn it. Oh, God. Legs, forum. legs gets about halfway across. His footing slips and he falls and lands on the uh, on the ramp, but manages to hold on. Uh, well, actually, that should be a. Uh... <laughs> OK, yeah, manages just barely manages to hold on to the side of the thing. Um. Gets himself back up on and and, uh, and finishes crossing. All right, <clears throat> I'm coming. Oof. Okay. 
come on. If legs made it, I could make it. Yeah, you make it. I okay. just felt like making a noise. <laughs> I just I tripped and fell twice on the way over. Okay. It's an eight foot gap. Yeah. I still managed to trip twice. <laughs> yeah. I'm guessing the uh, the intensity of one of two torches wouldn't change the darkness, right? Magical darkness so now. Yeah, okay. All right, so let's keep pushing through. Is there a path? Or, or well, we're in like a corridor of sorts, right? Uh, yeah, so the, the crack in the side of it is clearly like something has punched a hole in the side of the obelisk. Um, it, it looks like this crack has probably been there for a while. The sort of rock on the edge of the obelisk is, uh, is worn down quite a bit, um, from like the rain and stuff, uh, and just the general sea, um, causing, uh, causing damage. Um, definitely looks like that crack has been there longer than the ramp leading up to it. Um... You can't really see too far inside at, at this point. If you go to the edge of the uh, edge of the like ledge that you're standing on, uh, you can kind of see uh, that there's like there, there's actually a floor inside the area. It's probably about uh, ten feet down from the edge of the crack, um, but that's about all you can see. Is that there's a floor down there? All right, guys, we should keep going, right? Eh? All right, I guess we're all here, so onwards into the literal breach. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> Evelyn is uh, just sort of looking around and putting her hands on uh, on the rock. Um, and just says, something, something isn't right. The obelisk is, it's, it's speaking to me. Something isn't right. Yeah, I'd say that's the, probably the ten foot gash in the wall. Just for starters, it's a, uh, it's it's. I I I I I feel it speaking to me. It's afraid. Afraid of. It, I I can't I can't I can't tell. It's I only feel what the, the obelisk is feeling. It feels afraid. Well, that's great. So we have a mood ring for the tower now. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll just keep on trudging. Uh, any idea which direction into the darkness we should be heading? Are you gonna? You're just gonna jump down from the crack onto the floor? No, I'd throw a torch down first. Maybe just drop your torch over, just to make sure that we're not jumping onto some pit of spikes or scorpions or whatever. Uh, he's uh he's muted. He's he unmutes his microphone and then drops the torch. Oh Jesus! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, I throw the torch. Well, first I use my torch to light another torch, and then I throw the other torch uh, down. Go. Okay. Good thinking. Uh, yeah, so, yeah you you toss Seven. it down there. Thanks, <laughs> Captain. <laughs> All right. You anything? toss it down there, and uh, uh it just. It, as far as you can tell, it's just it's just flat. There's no like spikes or snakes or anything that you can see. Okay, and now is this like a ledge or we just walk down? Uh, you'd have to jump down. Yeah, you're on like a ledge. But we'll we're be basically right. in the crack. But the crack, because the wall is like ten foot deep, it's you know we have a lot of space where we're at. Yeah. All right. Let's go. All let's right. Let's do it. I'm down. All right, uh, so you jump down. Everybody jumps down. Everybody's fine with the jumping down. No need to roll anything for <laughs> jumping down. Um, and you reach the you reach the floor. Um, once you once you actually get to the floor and you look at it, you can tell that uh, it's like one solid piece of stone all the way across. It's not like it was built um, or, or uh, out of a whole bunch of other stone put together. Um, it's just like. Um, almost, uh, almost, almost like obsidian. Not quite as dark, but just flat and solid, um, all the way across. Keep moving. Yeah, at so this point we just keep stay. pushing forward. Yeah. 
There's no reason yeah. to stay. There's nothing to yeah. So I mean every nothing to look at. Nothing. I mean we can we cuz I'm I'm assuming right I, now. I'll, we'll, I'll grab the other torch that was on the ground. Yeah. Um I mean just 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 for sake of like how we're progressing here. Um we're still in the black, right? So we land great. It's still pitch black outside of 15 feet around us. So we should keep yep. pushing forward. Oh, we should split up just a little bit. Like maybe we have about there you go. Like five, overlap. ten feet between us. That makes sense. Make totally. a little bit of a wider arc. There you go. Yeah. I mean, okay. I, I have I have ten fucking torches. I mean, how wide is this corridor that we're going through? Can we just spread out that way? We're covering. We don't want to waste all our torches. I mean, we have ten. We have thirty amongst us <laughs> right now. I don't have any torches. Oh, okay. Okay, fine, fine. Two is we fine. We got one now. Two is fine. So as you as you, you take it. your that's when we start fucking burning the walls with my hands. <laughs> so, okay, so which direction are you, are you moving directly away from the crack? Or are you moving along one of the walls? Yeah, I, I say we follow a wall. It's just like a maze if you hug follow a, left a wall. wall. Yeah, just he, hug... Gotta hug a, he gotta hug a wall like it's a maze. Mm hmm yep. Okay. Uh, and you're you're continuing... Are you all on the same, same wall, or were you splitting up? No. No, well, splitting up, like, we're just, like... There's, like... Maybe five, ten foot between us. That way, we have a little bit extra width yeah. to our light. Yeah, we're oh, sticking so together. Like... We're not going down different paths. Okay, so like Davis just moves like ten feet in front. Yeah, and I'm you like guys five, follow, ten, like, feet, 10 feet to the left, so that okay. we can. Is there is there a background image for this, or maybe just black? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's basically I, uh, just crack black. would be awesome. All right, here. What'd you say? Crack would be awesome. <laughs> oh, giant. Mm. Sound specify, bite, so sound even before trip. plumbers crack. Don't do that. <laughs> eh, hang on. Whoops. Wait, oh, hang on. I have, I have too many uh, pages in my list of th places I can send you guys. All right, there you go. <laughs> Perfect. This is basically what you guys see right now. Oh, this is good. I like it. Ah. My immersion is just too strong right now. Yeah. Um. So. Uh, let's see. Pum, pum, pum. Uh, Davis, roll uh, perception. Jesus. Okay. Um, other guys roll perception. Adobo and Macius. Oh, that was almost a 17. I think Macius is saving all of his good rolls for the end. Yeah. Totally. Fuck. Be. I'm just rolling right. whatever at this point. So you well, guys... Alright, Evelyn, roll perception. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are uh, continuing along the wall. Uh, after you get, after you've been going for a little while, you, you haven't encountered anything yet at all. But after you've been Just going for a, a little while, a lot of darkness and a lot of nothing. A lot of darkness, a lot of nothing. Yeah, um, you've been going along for about ten minutes, and you realize that uh, when you turn and look behind you, you can't see the crack anymore. Uh, well, geez, maybe we should. Keep the wall to the left and turn right from it and go inwards at this point? I don't really know. I mean, we shouldn't leave the... If we if we, if we we go beyond, you know, X amount of feet, we'll start losing our bearing. So, um, unless the floor is, like, lined So we're something. gonna walk, like, multiple miles in... Uh, <laughs> You're right, it is, like, what does he say, a half a mile across? It's a half mile, uh, like, width. Oh, so fuck. <clears throat> we're gonna be trotting for a bit in the dark. If we decide to, if if it's a giant. Oh know. wait a minute. Um, no fuck. Never mind. Oh. Outer chamber. Yeah, I mean, I guess we just walk. <laughs> this is so yeah, hard. I, I, I don't know what we we don't. Whatever you guys say, I'm down. All I, right. I mean, yeah. I mean, fifteen feet is such a short distance. We can't use rope. We can't really use a breadcrumb trail of torches or anything. Like we pretty oh. much have to just, just aimlessly walk. Past, yeah. Yeah, we're past the point of no return. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's keep going. All right, let's go. Let's stay close. So we're and... gonna keep hugging the wall for now. 
Yep. I said. All right. right. We're, just, we're just gonna keep going until we see the crack again. Got it. <laughs> okay. If we see the crack again, we're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was saying. Man. We got far enough away we can't see the crack. <clears throat> Crack would have been like the only source of light, unless the magic magical darkness is blocking it, and we're actually only like twenty feet away from yeah. it. <laughs> Ten <laughs> minutes of slowly shuffling forward. All right, so you continue on, um, continue on for probably about another, uh, another twenty, twenty-five minutes, um, and then you actually reach a corner. You've you've reached another wall. <sighs> Is it is it go like okay. does it wrap around like we were hugging the left wall? Does it get ninety degrees to the left or is it ninety degrees to the right? Like we're closed in. Like you're closed in. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yay. Uh, should we just follow this one and just pick up a light jog and see if we hit another one? Then we know at least <laughs> that we know we're in a uh, in a giant room and we have to go hit to the middle. Uh yeah, honestly. Wait, hang on. Can't can't you see a little bit better? I swear. Oh. Yeah, I you're swear. right. Wait, I actually, have... no. This actually, this might be a magical darkness. No, I have. Well, yeah, you're right. I have dark vision. I don't know if that sees through. Yeah, you you can't see any better than anyone else. It's actually more uh, more pronounced for you than others because you're used to being able to see a little bit farther. Oh, so I could see okay. like the magic. Then is that what you're saying? Basically, like. No, I mean you can currently. No, you can see only see the a same... natural darkness. You, yeah, you can currently see the same distance everyone else can in the dark. You're used to being able to see a little bit further, so you're actually being restricted more than the others, basically. Oh, I see. Which is why you think it's really dark. We just think it's pretty dark. Gotcha. All right. Never so... mind. I guess fuck it. We'll keep going. Yeah, yeah. I mean, remember that the uh, the crack is not letting any light in either. You literally cannot see it at all. Yeah, but you said it was like a. 90 degree right correct yeah, yeah yeah okay yeah i'm just saying that like basically if it wasn't a magical darkness then the crack would be letting light in yeah yeah regardless of where yeah, the room let's, let's just keep following the wall and if we had basically we're just gonna map the fucking outer uh, the outer sanctum square effectively yeah mm. and then if once we Assuming hit, if we, we hit another if we had another 90 degree right then we just hit 45 and just head to the middle and then hopefully we hit something I mean, I don't know if there's a door or if there's something in the middle. I have no idea. Also, wait, can we tell if we can? We, were we counting paces? Do we know if we went no. a half a mile? <laughs> no. God damn it. We're really bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find something. We'll find something. <laughs> Next time Just we keep... do this, this is, the update's going to be, oh, yeah, so last last episode, they walked around in the dark for fucking two hours. <laughs> no, last episode, we <laughs> attempted to get on some piece of land for over an hour <laughs> <laughs> all right all right so you just continue to walk along it's up to you guys yeah i mean what well, it's either that or just turn in and they didn't want to turn in early so they're not gonna want to turn in yet so keep going all right so you continue along uh you've been walking for another uh 45 minutes and you reach the corner fucking minutes how slow are we walking? I mean, it's fucking dark, it's a, right? It's a half mile. It's a half, plus, a half mile does not take 45 minutes, dude. 45 it does. minutes. It's awfully dark. I can crawl 45 minutes to fucking... Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, okay. All right, yeah. Let's turn towards the middle. <laughs> All right. Uh, you, so you're heading, heading straight towards the middle now? Yeah. Or trying mm -hmm. to, anyway? Yeah. Well, I mean, we have a we have a wall, so we should be able to just put our backs at it and literally just walk forward. Unless it's a subtle curve we're not noticing. Well, it's more that once you can't tell, like once you can no longer tell if you're turning or not, people naturally tend to turn. Well, we're That's hugging why, a wall. Uh, we can see a wall. Like the line of line that we've had, we should we can see a wall. So, uh, because we were hugging a wall the entire time, the old maid strategy, maid strategy where you always hug like a left or right wall, then you can just sure. But if you're walking away from the wall, you won't be able to see it anymore. Yeah, well, we might drift left or right. Yeah. But what I'm saying is we should know, <laughs> just, you know which way it's going to be in initially. Okay, yeah. So you, you 
Are you turning away from the wall and starting to walk towards the center? Yeah, let's do that. As straight as we yes. can, yeah. As as if anything, we, we hit another wall and then we follow it. Yeah. Uh, so you continue along. Um, and as you're walking, you start to hear a slight humming. Like a deep, low... It's like a... That's a pretty good hum. Uh, hello? Mm -hmm. Guys? Yeah. Are you, are you getting hungry? Is that someone's stomach? <laughs> Just keep moving forward. As you, as you continue walking, it starts to get louder. You can hear, you, you start to be able to hear that it's coming from a specific point. The, the further you continue walking. Okay, we should just follow it. Yeah, yeah, I guess we'll just going. head towards whatever the fuck that noise is. You guys hear that, that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. It's vibrating my insides. It's getting <laughs> it's brown louder and louder as time goes on. Um, eventually, you... Uh, it's, it's getting really, like, almost deafeningly loud at some point. You're having to shout if you ever try to even talk to each other. Um, and as you continue getting closer and closer to it, eventually you see just a small pedestal uh, with a glowing light. Uh, like it, it actually comes into view, um, and like a, a little uh, at the top of the pedestal is a little crystal, um, perfectly uh, uh, diamond shaped crystal, uh, eight sided, uh, and uh, it's just glowing this like vibrant purple color. Uh, I'll do detect magic because this is a little fucking creepy. There you go. I'm assuming I'm gonna see some magical bullshit around it. Uh, yes, it's definitely magical. Um, is a lot of fact, bullshit. It's uh, it's currently emanating all schools of magic. Whoa. Jesus fuck. All right. Uh, anybody got anything like around the same size and shape? No. Sure, Evelyn, like is, a... Evelyn is slowly starting to walk towards the crystal. Whoa, whoa, Good. Evelyn, no, hold no, on. I don't know let if the force no. booby trapped or something, right? No, no, fuck She's it. not listening. Good, perfect. Evelyn, let her go. Evelyn, legs, legs. No, like, god damn it. Legs, legs, lasso, and yeah, boys. Like, pull her. Here. You, you I, want, I, me, to, you want me to grab her, boss? Yeah, make sure she doesn't go forward. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if traps. I'm comfortable grabbing an old lady, boss. Just, just grab her there. I'm going to slowly pull her back. We don't know if there's booby traps. We don't want her setting it off. She's already... Miss, Not feeling uh, too fantastic. Miss Evelyn, I think I think uh, I think they want you to come back here. And he goes to grab her arm, uh, and like as he goes to grab her arm, like electric shock pulls his arm right back. Oh, boss, boss, she's made out of electricity, boss. It hurt, boss. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus. I'm not um, touching her. I'm not. Don't even look at me. Let's just like follow can, her tie, 15 feet tie behind her, right? Legs took a point of damage. <laughs> fucking legs is gonna be dead just from like uh, I was totally gonna do an Indian and Jones fucking swap it out for something the same weight like you guys don't got nothing we can swap it with where's that troll doll no she's uh <laughs> she's about 20 paces from the she's taking a step uh, about every second so she's about 20 seconds from reaching the pedestal alright wait at this point then the, the magic has kind of spread right so we can see a little bit more clearly uh you see the the thing okay yeah that's let's, about it let's just, we just let her go let her go let yeah her she's go. about 10 seconds from reaching the pedestal i don't know uh, let's see you acs get your bow ready just in case i don't know why. this oh, is yeah, a little it's, weird it's, it's ready saying uh, knock an arrow damn it yeah I, I, I'm, I'm good all right i'm a ranger <laughs> don't backseat ranger yes. <laughs> we just watch this at this point. Anybody else have an idea? I'm, 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 not touch, I'm not touching her. If there's traps, we'll let her set them I off. Mean, we'll be safe in the darkness. <clears throat> yeah, well, they might be hard traps. No. She, she gets to the pedestal and Gravel reaches out okay. a hand but doesn't yeah. touch it. Prob yeah, yeah, maybe don't touch that. That's probably a bad idea. You okay? Wait. Any anybody home? Looks fine. She looks fine. She's, okay, she's like, answer, you're panicking. 
Do we see anything happening between her and Bro, Bianca? she fell into a hypnotic trance the second she fucking saw that thing. Well, it's her I master. don't think it's okay. I, it, it's, it's just like her god or something. I don't know. Crystal's a god? Yeah, all right. I'm going to reach a little much here. Well, you ex you, do you have a better explanation? Look at this. All I know fine? is I fucking looked at that shit, and there's every school of magic come off of it. So I think it's more of a fucking crazy-ass artifact more than a god, personally. I belong to a god. That could be a thing. I'd be down. I just, I guess we just get ready uh, to run. Evelyn, any, yeah. any kind of life from you? Just give me like a, you know, like a shuffle to the left or right, just a little bit. Anything? Any sign of life? Can you hear us? Wait, can she's uh, just, she's just staring at it with her, with her. Hang on, hang on. Wait, I think wait, I might have a pebble in one of these things here. Let me, let me just. Yeah, yeah. Or, throw or, a rock or, at her. Either that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I ha I'm gonna see if I have a rock in my fucking scholarship. <laughs> <I'm impressed here. laughs> See if I can throw a rock just to see if she's like, nope, I got fuck all. <laughs> okay, I, I was going to say, get um, pop an arrowhead off of an arrow and just kind of lightly. Hey, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Legs, 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 <laughs> legs, legs, uh, legs, do you still You're have like any of that? feet away. Legs, do you have any of those wood splinters and rail here sticking out of you still? Are you good? Just give her a fucking Charlie horse, dude. Just like no, does those legs have any of those metal like the, not metal the wood splinters? <laughs> we can just pull around. that out of him and throw it. He's walking around with Home Depot, hanging off his fucking thighs. <laughs> I don't know. He doesn't have anything. Okay, he probably pulled him out and left him at the crack. Okay, fuck. All right, I'm sure it's fine. I, 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 just stay here. I'm gonna walk up to her. Well, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Jeez. Evelyn, go into the light. Hey. She's not answering. I'm going to walk right up to her. I can right? only sure. see two people thus far. I'm guessing the green one's Evelyn? Yeah, the green one's Evelyn. I, just... I put myself on the... Uh, yeah. Thing. Oh, okay. You put yourself on the... Okay. I won my immersion. All right. I'm going to walk right up to her and nudge her from behind. Oh, hey. I don't know, man. She, you might get zapped. I Jeez. nudge her. Uh, okay, let's see. You have to roll for a nudge. There's that. <laughs> roll strength. Oh, 20. Oh, you, you knocked her out. <laughs> okay. Evelyn? So you, you actually, you actually, know, oh yeah, legs. Fuck. Um, you act, you're actually like touching her? Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of nudge her from behind. Give her a little push. Okay. Um, as you touch her, you feel a jolt of electricity. I... Uh, and you take four points of damage. Next oh, time, God. touch her with an oh, arrow. Oh, God, that was a bad idea. Oh, All right, I should have listened. <laughs> Told you. <Fuck> that. <laughs> should have used a rope. <laughs> we got to fashion that rope into lasso, Ow. and we'll pull her back. Ow. <laughs> Did I regain my hit points from last game? Yeah, yeah. I'm assuming we, we, you probably okay. went through a rest on the boat. All right, so I'm at 24 now. I f fuck. <laughs> the party's fucking already partially I broken. Know, so Evelyn got it. hurt. He got zapped. Legs, who? There's legs. Legs is already fucked up. Why don't we send legs in? I, we already know what's we going on. We already sent him in. He got zapped too. Happen. Not if he touches the purple <clears> light. <throat> Like, what's this purple light again? The purple is supposed to be the crystal, I'm guessing. It's the, the crystal, purple. yeah. All right. So, if legs, how many, how much, how many hit points does legs have? I, I got a feeling he, if he tries to grab it, it's not gonna work out. No, wait, 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 wait. How many, how many hit points does legs have? You, you don't know how many hit points he has. Um, he doesn't look like he's too beat up. All right. I'm just wondering, it's like, like three if, points if, of damage from the because other here's stuff. the thing: if we send him over there to touch the crystal. And he becomes possessed, and then they both turn around, and we have to end up fighting them fucking both, and whatever else this crystal is gonna throw at us. I'm just, I'm just. Oh, I'm not gonna get possessed, boss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just assuming legs would hear this conversation. <laughs> we wouldn't let that happen to you, like don't worry. <laughs> All of a sudden, there is a huge pulse of light that comes out from, uh. From the crystal uh, as Evelyn touches it. Boom, baby. Uh, the magical darkness is lifted 
you can see around again you see you're just in a big 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 massive uh blank empty space um uh, but the, Evelyn, everything okay over there the light from the crystal something happened goes out oh that's hmm can i still see the magical auras coming off of it uh no oh well there's there's definitely like residual lingering auras around um but it's not emanating like it was before yeah However, Evelyn is lit up like a Christmas tree. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, guys? That thing used to be emanating, like, all kinds of... You, just, just, you don't even want to know how much magic? Now it's, like, a useless fucking burnt-out torch? Now she's burning. Like, it's... It's not... It's not looking good. She's moving. It's... Mm. Evelyn? Evelyn, hi! <laughs> hi she very, very slowly turns around to look at you. Um, has her head down the entire time. And then looks up and her eyes are now pulsing with the same uh, purple light that the crystal was a moment ago. You okay over there? You need a drink or something? Any words at all? You zap me, bitch! Um... With the master. Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. God damn it. She okay. she appears okay. like visibly what, what? shaken. Like she's she's actually shaking from time to time. What, uh, what's that mean? I think we should get out. Can, of here. can you can you be more descriptive, please? The master has blessed me. Uh huh. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Right. What does that mean? Because the we were supposed to help you. Has blessed me. Uh, uh huh. Uh huh. Right. And so, what can we do with this blessing, Evelyn? We brought you all the way here. You must accept the master. Hmm. And then what? Uh, you will uh -huh. be chosen. You will be chosen by the master. That doesn't sound so That's bad, guys. I... Okay. You think that sounds bad? I mean, you're the one with the green glowing eyes. Do you want to swap for purple or no? <laughs> <laughs> My transaction, right? It's not actually there. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, someone She's should. Here. Someone should like. There's like a we wall should here. probably start backing towards a different edge of the screen right now. <clears throat> We're the master. <laughs> Real estate. Wait, it's hold high, on. Uh, uh, legs. Uh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 boss, wait. boss, I don't like it, boss. Yeah, legs, just get away. Yeah, you're getting away, boss. Go poke it, legs. Evelyn, <laughs> we, we, we're not ready to make that type of commitment. And <laughs> we would just like to get the answers we came for. As you sort of spread out around her, she stops going after any one of you in particular and just sort of stands still uh, in the middle, just sort of looking around at each of you mm. from time to time. Uh, so, Evelyn, we uh, we're, remember while we're here, we're looking for the imposter, you know? Uh, not really seeing any signs of him now that we can actually see. Got any insight on that? Anybody still home that we can... Remotely, remember us. Can we... I remember you. Yes, you've been very, very helpful. Uh huh. Oh, that's good, good. You're that's welcome. Good. I will appreciate. I appreciate all of your help, and it it will be remembered. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay, wait. 50, I have fifty feet of rope. Uh, I say you pull a battle of hoth. And <laughs> <laughs> just start fucking. <laughs> I got a feeling the ropes aren't gonna last. Fuck. But if you have any snow speeders, I'm down. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> um, I think I think someone should pelt her in the head with an arrow. What are you nuts? I don't want to just attack her. She seems like. Hi, Evelyn. <laughs> Hello. 
so. Have you heard the good word of our Lord and Savior, the Master? I have. I have. You've been talking a lot about him, and it, it all sounds like great things. Um, Do you have a few moments of your day? I could come inside and talk to you at length about the master. <laughs> I'm a fucking missionary now. I don't own, own the ha this house, Evelyn. Uh, you, you'll have to talk to Davis. <laughs> no, sorry, I'm not religious. Yes. No solicitors. This one. Yes. Have you accepted the master into your soul? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I kind of wave my arms. Because she's not looking at me. I kind of wave my arms at Macy's and kind of mock the, the arrow motion. Do you want me to shoot? Oh, God damn What it. the fuck else All are right. we going to do? All right, fine. I, I, I knock an arrow. I aim it right at her head. <laughs> <laughs> all right um are you are you are you firing i'm firing all right God. go ahead and uh roll such a bad idea i'm sorry oh Ooh. shit <laughs> hang on hang on hang on can i get some can we get some star wars combat music <laughs> wait 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 hang on i got i got something for this i have something for this here we go All right. I have so no you, choice, Evelyn. You fire your arrow. It it connects. Uh, go ahead and roll your damage. Uh, yeah. All right. Arrow connects with the back of her head. Oh. Jesus. Uh, she turns around to look at you. Uh, just following orders. <laughs> that was unwise. I, just to be captain, fair, those were his orders. He's the captain. Remember? I'm the captain of the ship. We're not on the ship, Evelyn. <laughs> <laughs> These older guys are more of the group leaders. I didn't say anything about a bow shot. Did you say anything, Devo? No, nah, man. I don't know what's going on. As Evelyn is walking towards Macius, um, Adobo, you can see the arrow sticking out of the back of her head actually slowly start to pulse that purple energy and then just dissipate like ash, like it's not even there. Like the arrow burnt up? Uh, it, like it burnt up, but then left. Like eventually it, it like sort of puffs like ash, but the ash sort of like turns to smoke and then there was nothing there at all. Even not her, a hole in the back of red? Not even a hole in her robe. Jesus. Oh, shit. Um, uh, all right. Little uh, help. Where, 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 where's the crystal? Uh, you know, shooting the crystals might <laughs> help out, actually. Shit. Little help. Uh, uh legs. Boys. Attack. Boss, she's, I'm scared, she's boss. She's gonna try and hurt the captain. <laughs> Hi, Evelyn. It was. All right. You, you look up, okay? Legs runs up and takes a big swing at, like, you. Uh, just uh, with his, he doesn't actually have a hammer, so he runs up just with his fist uh, to take a big swing. Oh, clocks wasted. She uh, sort of like, <laughs> it's like he goes to punch her and his fist just passes through. Like, uh, she slightly blurs a little bit as his fist passes through. Uh, but it looked like he should have hit, but Cancel. it. Uh, it does not connect. Can someone roll perception just to see if there's anything in the area that she's like linked to or anything in the area that we could possibly use? Because at this point, our only other option seems to be run. I think she's still taking damage though. Is she though? Because there's not even a hole in her robe where the arrow was. Well, you haven't mm. tried magic on her. Yeah, That's I guess. Yeah, uh, try that. Guess I'll fucking hit it with the fucking Elders Blast. Actually, hang on. Actually, 
Hang on. Oh. You know, I'll hit her with a, I think, a hex first, right? Because I'm pretty sure that that lets me fucking click, uh, pick one attack, and then that attack will get a bonus every time as well. I think. Chris creature deal extra 1d6 to target whenever you hit it with an attack. Pick an ability that target has a disadvantage on the uh, on ability checks. Made with chosen ability. Target dies before spell ends. Bonus action, yeah. So, I I guess I'll hex. Yeah, I guess I'll hex her. Do it. Two. Um. I, I'm not sure if she can actually dodge that. No, no, no. There's actually no roll. That's the that would be the damage roll that you just rolled if you if you hit it. If it had actually been applied, but yeah. yeah. So you just you just applied it. Now it's applied. So now anytime I hit her with Eldritch Blast, it'll also do an extra one d six. Yeah. Or it'll actually happen every turn, anyways. I think. Uh, deal one d steal an extra one d six to target whenever you hit it with an attack. So you do have yeah, to. Yeah, whenever I hit it. it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So I guess I'm hexer now. I don't know, I, I probably can't do that. I'll just blast at the same time because we probably started, so. I guess that's all I got this round. And the target will have disadvantage on ability checks made with a chosen ability, but you don't know what any of her abilities are, so you can't pick one. Um, well, no, it's picking an ability, the target has disadvantage against mine. It. Oh, I thought it was with my abilities, so like she can't. She gets disadvantage against Eldritch Blast. No, she gets she gets disadvantage. No, you, it's not that you have advantage, it's that she has disadvantage on something. But you don't know what that something is. Oh. Yeah, I thought it was pick one of my attacks. Pick one of my abilities. It would, it would say then... that you have advantage if that's the case. So wait, are you saying that we have to basically try everything? So that was a wasted turn then. Fuck. You, you're saying that we have to basically I mean, you get, the, you get the extra 1d6 damage, but uh, uh, her disadvantage is... I'll, I'll just pick one of her abilities that oh, she okay. has disadvantage on. Um, it's just you, you don't know what to pick, so you're just sort of... Wow. Okay. Fly, uh, firing at it, firing it at her. What what happened with my music? Where'd mm. it go? There we go. Um, okay. So she she has that curse active. Um, and I guess at this point we should probably just go ahead and roll for initiative. Um, Adobo, if you want to get an attack in of some kind before we do that, that's fine. Yeah, uh, I mean, everything is, I mean, I feel like anything I do is pretty much equal to what Adobo did. It's a physical attack, so I don't really have anything else. He it's... actually did damage, though. Even if it doesn't Wait, actually, oh, like, he actually did damage. No I missed that part. He, he did do could damage. Wear down. Mm -hmm. Le legs missed, but... Yeah, legs missed, but, uh, uh Macy's actually hit. Yeah, but oh, Macy's is arrow the... disappeared. Yeah, the arrow did connect. Okay, but no damage was yeah, done. Maybe though. we'll wear her down. You don't know. What else are you going to do? Just sit there and just fucking... All right, well... Uh, yeah, you lay down and die? <clears throat> there you go. All right, if this doesn't work, then nothing works. <laughs> no. That's a hit, yeah. Okay. You, your flail connects into her side. Oh, nice. Wait, that's right. weird. It says, oh, it's plus five. Got it. Okay. Wait, wait, no. Wait, yeah. what? No. Oh, strength. Plus got four. it. Got it. Got it. Yeah, it's plus plus oh, three. Plus three for the strength. Yeah. Because yeah, you don't get your um, proficiency bonus on damage. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, your flail connects into her side. She sort of sort of lets out a slight uh, shriek um, as she takes the hit, um, and it definitely makes her stop moving for a second, and then she just slowly stands back up to uh her regular regular stature and turns around to look at adobo now initiative I think now let's her. roll initiative yeah right. <clears throat> Whew. Right. i get two turns right with a 20. <laughs> <laughs> Of course I rolled my fucking 20 again now. I'm not gonna get any fucking good rolls. Oh, so. apparently when I have this open and you roll initiative now, this actually works and it's filling it out. Uh, I didn't put Davis in. Yeah. I'll have to put Davis in manually. Okay, cool. Legs. 
Yeah, one second. Um. Nick's also got a 21, but his actual roll was not a natural 20, so he will be after Davis. Evelyn will go after all of you guys. Cool. So, uh, Davis, it's your turn. All right. Uh, I guess I'll hit her with a fucking Elders Blast. Okay. God damn it. Wait, that's not bad. I mean, it's not terrible, right? I don't think it's going to hit. Um, what's the, that's my grid modifier, the plus six. Yeah. Um, I'm looking up Eldritch Blast again, cause I don't remember. It's just, uh, okay. Range spell attack. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, no, that's not a hit. Jeez. Uh, but why does it say legs 42 now? Okay, I don't know what those numbers are anymore. Well, Legs is gonna swing at her again. Oh, oh Legs. Damn. This time, unconscious. Legs actually manages to connect really well to the extent that it actually shoves her to the side a little bit um, from the force of the blow. Fuck's sake, uh, I can't handle the shot. But, uh,. Oh, we should roll. Oh, wait, I'm next. Sorry. Hang on one second. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, she, again, she takes a, like, staggers back a bit, sort of bends over, looking like she's uh, uh, winded, and then just stands back up. Rolling. Yeah. Nice. All right. So, so, hang on. We we got six damage from Natius, nine from Adobo. That's fifteen. A plus another four from Legs. It's nineteen. Plus another ten. Twenty-nine <laughs> damage so far. <clears throat> Jesus. I mean, I'm sure this is like boss mode. Whatever that fucking thing was is inside of her now. So. Oh, I'm just personally keeping track on how much she has. Right, yeah. Done. Are you going to tell her? Hey, you should be dead by now. No, no hey. <laughs> she hasn't even attacked yet. I know. You showing any signs of weakness yet? Hey, hey lady, how you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> on a scale of 1 All to right. 10. <laughs> so the, uh, the flail definitely connects. Uh, she's definitely... Uh, uh, not feeling good about it. Yeah. Uh, but again, just stands up after the blow. Okay, I'm gonna do uh, like an elven move, hop back. Huh. <laughs> even, though, even, though, even though you're human. <laughs> even though I'm human. And as I jump back, I pull back on my bow once again and aim for her throat. Oh, 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 oh Jesus. Jesus. And you injured. connect, sir. <laughs> so that is, in fact, a crit. Uh, and you just did uh, nine damage. Yeah. <laughs> he, he shouts Legolas as he fades. <laughs> <laughs> you think, who the fuck is Legolas? <laughs> I look around, making sure everybody saw that. <laughs> the arrow arrow pierces her neck, sticks all the way through. You can see blood actually coming out. It bleeds! Um, and then... 38 the damage. Arrow dissipates again, uh, and the wound closes up. I don't know how to feel about this part. It bled! 
<laughs> if but for a moment. Like the bleeding, so the the wound doesn't entirely close up. I guess you can still definitely see that there is a a, a mark, a red mark there, but the bleeding stops very quickly. I'm guessing the blood that's actually you know on her skin doesn't disappear. Right. Yeah. Okay. So she is losing blood. Um, All right, oh, it's her turn. turn. Yeah, her turn. Oh, sweet Jesus. This is terrible. <laughs> Conal attack. <laughs> she just you? sort of You're looks around on. the room, looks down at herself, lets out a huge shriek, and a big wave of purple energy just pulses out from her across the entire, uh, entire inside of the obelisk. Uh, and I'm going to need <laughs> a... Constitution save from everyone. Oh wait, that's not a thing. Is this yeah, like, is this, is this like Rabbit Kong and uh, Mario plus rabbits? Uh, I don't think so. You mean you didn't beat the first boss? Me. Come on, dude. I just beat it a long time ago. Okay. Oh wait, how do you do the save? Uh, the Constitution. Uh, yeah, that's what I hit. So there's uh, the save is the list next to it, to the right. Oh, derp. Damn it. Wasting my good roll. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, you did. <sighs> oh, sorry. Hold on. Um... Jesus oh, <laughs> fucking Christ. Not as wasted as his, though. <laughs> oh, and one for one for legs. God damn it. Fucking 19, man. All right. Uh, so you all take five damage. Oh, ouch! And uh, Mike is knocked back a couple of spaces. Okay, so it would be my turn, and I just got hit, right? So I could, I think, do two attacks. So I have one that could be a. Uh, re uh, Rebuttal attack, Hell's Rebuke, I think. I don't think it actually takes an action. I could be wrong. Let me, let me look it up real fast. One reaction. Yeah, it's a reaction. So, does that count as doing it before my actual attack? What's the... Hang on, let me look at the description. So, is it called Hell's Rebuke? Hellish Rebuke. Here it is. Um, yes, you can just go ahead and do that on her turn, basically. Before it comes to your turn. Well, I, I, it's my turn right now, so or it's mine up anyways. This, this would goes. be something that you would do at, yeah, since you're right after her, it's something that, like, you took damage, you have the option to immediately... You, you take the action in response to being damaged by a creature, so it's still technically part of her turn before it gets but to your turn. But she's probably done anyways because she just did that. But yeah, she is I done. Yeah. Now you also but, you just yeah. get to you get to do it as soon as you take damage, basically, from anything. Oh, suck it, bitch! All right, and she has to make a hellish bukake dexterity save. Okay. Yeah, Mike, that's not what it says. <laughs> just gonna right. throw it out there. Oh, she did not make that save, and she just took 17 damage. Wow. Oh. Holy fuck. All right. And... No, that's it. Yeah. Now I can actually do it on my turn, since she was done. Yep. Yep. And now I'll fucking do it. I'll just fucking blast, you fucking slut! Fuck! <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> An Eldrick fizzle. <laughs> Alright then. Next. <laughs> Your Eldrick blast in the pan in the pan. 
Whatever. I still <laughs> fucking did 17 damage. It's so. true. No, you did. Actually, she was at 39 at that point, so that's, uh, that's, that's a lot of damage. That's a definite 56 miss. 56 damage now? That's a definite miss, though, right? Oh, yeah, that's a miss. 10's definitely a miss. Okay. No, that... Yeah, that was a miss. Yeah, sorry. Uh, Legs is going to take another swing at her. Uh, once again, his fist sort of passes through her, but it looks like he was able to rough her up a little bit. Alright, let's see. Okay. Adobo. Sixty-two damage. Jesus. Sixty-two damage. Is that? A Wait, hit? hang on. How are you swinging that far out? Oh, whoops. Sorry, I forgot. I moved. <laughs> um. Wait, how's it work? I could, I could, I could just. Move you can, just, you can, you can yeah, move. Okay, I think okay, up to thirty okay, feet okay, before okay. you can attack. I'm gonna move to a point where Shizzle can't fuck up and fry me. So, can I just move right here, maybe a little bit? Um. All yeah. right. So, was that is a thirteen a hit or not? Uh, 13 is a hit, yeah. Okay. Uh, I wanted to use the superiority die for a goading attack. Um, and uh, do you know what that is, or you want me to paste the description in? What? No, I go ahead and paste it in. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> you hit a creature with a weapon attack, you can attempt to go the target. Attack. Add the superiority die to the attack's damage roll. The target must make a wisdom saving throw on a failed save. The target has disadvantage on all attack rolls against targets other than you until the end. Okay, cool. Okay. So you add the... Oh, hey. Hang on one sec. I had Hex on her. Does Hellish Rebuke trigger off of that? Oh, yeah. Both of them would. So roll an extra 2d6 worth of damage on her. So that's three. Oh, but that seven. was 2d6? Yeah, because you also... Oh, wait, no. You missed her with the, the Eldritch Blast. Never mind. So, yeah. That's an extra three damage. Yeah, it's 1d6. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I said 2d6 yeah, because I thought your Eldritch Blast had hit, so you would have yeah, had no, to combat didn't. damage yeah, twice. Good. No, we're good. No. So next to three, so... Okay. 65 so, uh, damage. Fucking Jesus. Go ahead and roll damage, uh, Mike. Okay. For your flail. And wait, should I add something to this? Hold on. Um, Just go ahead and, and click the thing for the flail damage, and then we'll add the superior already. I got it. After. It'll be another 1d8. So it's another seven damage to her. All right. Seventy-two damage. She's uh she's now beginning to visibly hunch over. Um, she has to do a wisdom a wisdom saving throw or something. Oh yeah. Um, the idea here is that I end up tanking her for the remainder, or for at least a while, or next attack, or whatever. Assuming she doesn't blow an AoE. Alright, she failed the saving throw. Awesome. So yeah, she has disadvantage on all attack rolls other Talk, than bitch. on you. She's got uh, Macy's turn. Um, does Hunter's Mark count as my turn? I don't think so. I pasted it. Okay. Oh, I think the first time you cast it, it does count as uh, it does count as your turn, be based on what the the last thing is, where you can use a bonus bonus action on subsequent turns to mark a new one. So the first time you use it, it would it would count as a turn. But then if you kill a target with that, then you can move it to another target for free. Um, trying to find my page here, and nothing is. How do I get to my skills again, or my rolled up page? Uh, for for your spells. Yeah. Any oh, uh, core in and the 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 options in the upper right, under where it says spell attack bonus right now. Uh, what? Upper right of your sheet. You see how it spells is lit up in red. Click on no, core. I don't see any of that. Oh. Okay, so you see that at the very top is a bunch of tabs. There's six tabs, right? Click on the one second to the left. Says journal. I'm like yeah. six buttons, but yeah, I clicked on my face. And... Okay. 
And it says in the middle, this says character sheet. Yeah, I'm on that. Then on the just below that, it says core. That it says core. We've been entering you've experience got, points. You've got SRD5 roll 20, the like logo, right? Next to that yeah. is wisdom, your spell casting yeah. ability. Next to that is your spell save DC. Uh, Next to that core. Spell attack okay. Yeah, yep, there you go. Got it. Thanks. Try, trying to describe where that is is difficult. <laughs> yeah, <totally. laughs> I, yeah, when I start looking up spells and stuff, I get lost pretty easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's fine. Um, I'm going to not waste a turn. Hope, maybe we can downer with this one. So I'm going to do uh, another little jump back huh! and fire my bow at, <laughs> uh, at her mouthpiece. Over <laughs> legs. Right over him. Right through. Oof. Mm. That is a that is a hit. Plus seven. That's what's saving you right there. Yeah. I yeah. Damn. Oh nine damage. Eighty one. Wait, was it were we seven seventy nine earlier? It said seventy nine or seventy two. I'm sure. Uh, I have her now is having taken 80 damage. Out of what? Out of the damage she's taken. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Almost Damn. at it. I tried. Persuasion. <laughs> yeah. So the arrow connects once again, this time uh, directly into her heart. Oh. Uh, she looks up, looks around. Let's out this ear piecing shriek uh, that I won't attempt to emulate because my neighbors would be pissed off. We'll just assume it's the Omnigal Death <laughs> mail from uh, Destiny. <laughs> that you know that would work actually. That's yeah, that, that would be a good. That would be a good shriek. Know, that's okay. Yeah, oh, I just, it's I, bad. <laughs> I trust you. Actually, hang on. Let me find a clip for you. <laughs> yeah. Um. And. Uh, immediately after that shriek, she disappears. Like, just was there and now is gone. Is there... Can we, oh, can yeah, we here we go. inspect this, this will see work if there's out. anything? Yeah, there you go. Now you don't have to imagine it. <laughs> here, I'll play it for chat. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, that's that was good. Yeah. I was that was a, that was a good treat. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. Well, we killed Evelyn. Well, she disappeared. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know I kill. Um. It was pretty fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So she uh, she disappears. Uh, I, I glance back over the crystal. Does it seem to have more power now, or is it still as kind of dimly lit as before? There, it's still dimly lit, but it does have, it does still have that sort of residual amount of uh, magical aura sort of coming off of it. All right, I guess I'll go and grab it from wherever the pedestal was around here, since I don't really remember. All right, yeah, if you 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 pick it up, you're, you're saying you're picking it, picking it up. Yeah, I'm pocketing okay, it. Yeah. Yeah, you pick it up and put it in your pocket. Um, you don't turn into a strange death god. The music doesn't start up again. <laughs> Although that's pretty funny for that perfect timing. <laughs> now now we have to fight Chisel. I'll put it back on the pedestal. <laughs> Slowly you puts don't it back turn down. into some kind of A boulder god. doesn't show up out of nowhere, right? <laughs> <laughs> we can see the crack now. The light's here, so we can just run for it if we need to. I, I actually I didn't click anything. It's just apparently that music track has like has a long of, ending has, yeah. nothing loops. on the end of it. Yeah, <laughs> just loop at that exact That's why loop. you keep yep replying it because you don't realize there's that much of a pause. Yeah, <laughs> that's shitty timing. That is. That was great timing. Um. So yeah, the uh, you have the, you have the crystal now, um, and the the magical darkness is now gone from the room, so you can see where the uh, uh, the crack was. And there's absolutely nothing else in there. There's no stairwell leading up. There's no room we missed or something like that because we kind of basically just went around the edges and straight in. So, um, you can't see too far up above you. Just the way the light's coming in, it doesn't reach far. Like, but it, there's there, there's nothing gets, inside the bottom level basically that we can see. Yeah, it's just a big flat empty room. Can we roll for me to chuck a uh, a torch as high up as I can? 
I mean, you don't have to roll for that. You can just chuck a torch up as high as you can. Probably a strength. Why are there two of you now? Because I threw this so hard worst. I made a copy. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I? Why is it two of me? <laughs> I don't, I don't like this. It's the evil Get me. Rid of one. <laughs> <laughs> it's the evil timeline version. Yeah. Uh... So yeah, you you check you check the thing up, but it doesn't like it it it, it definitely clears the away the darkness as as it gets higher. Like there's it's not like the there's a magical darkness up there or anything, but uh, you can't see anything. Okay, and did you say we could see the entrance? Yeah, we can see yeah, everything. You can see the, the crack that you came in. We can see everything on this uh, level. It's it, just because it's it's really tall, so it's hollow. I'm guessing so we it gets dark up there, but there's like no so stairs leading up we, there, so we're kind of so she vanished. unless we're gonna climb the wall, we're kind of fucked. Oh, right. Uh, well. Well, I mean, so that that happened. How tall? How tall? Um, is, how tall is the is the gap or the? Um... Well, considering it, he said it was like a Washington Monument, and each side on this thing is a half a mile long. I imagine it's probably a couple miles tall at least. No, no, sorry. The um, in order to get, if we want to get out, do we wait? Do we want to get out, or do you want to just keep on exploring? What the fuck else is there to explore? I mean, yeah, it's a big empty room with a fucking stone in the middle. We it possessed the, crystal, the old lady. Right? Yeah, I got the we crystal. The pedestal's her. there. I mean, we yeah. can p try putting something else on it and see if it changes <laughs> anything. I, I walk over to the pedestal, reach into my bag, and I pull out. <laughs> hey, now petrified, which means it's rock hard. Uh, <laughs> severed penis. I place it. I place it on the pedestal. But I don't, Shriveled. Rocker. I don't move my hand too far away from it in the event that it disappears. I want to make sure I catch it before it falls. Giant out. explosion and all the players. <laughs> no. Um, Leg survives because I like him. No. Uh, no. Nothing happens. All right. I take it. Put it back in my bag. Worth a shot, I guess. Really? You had to try that, didn't you? You never know, dude. Uh, you this start thing that's hearing... like a dick might like dick. You start hearing... Uh, Voices coming from the direction of the crack. Uh, huh. like com coming from outside the crack. You you hear, start hearing people shouting, basically outside. Let's yeah, uh -oh. let's, make, let's make our way back then. Yeah, let's oh go. god, let's Bray go. Horns is done for. He's done. Let's get back to the ship. Let's get out of here. Right. As you get closer to the crack, uh, it's clear there. It's not coming from very far outside the crack. Like it sounds like they're they're right outside. If we slowly walk up and peer out there you go okay so you're you're down you can't it's actually like a reach 10 foot drop to the crack i think right something like that from uh where you are is 10 feet below the crack yeah yeah so i guess i'll uh uh Macy, you want to go have a look i'll boost you up yeah yeah I'll, 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 okay all right uh cut my hands so we can if i can step in and i guess we'll push him up give him a look all right so you uh, you boost up oh, up to the edge, uh, Macius. Your your head just sort of pokes up over the corner, uh, and you see a pair of boots directly in front of you. Dad. This pair of boots is connected to a a very tall and very regally dressed looking gentleman. He looks oh. down at you. Well, hello. What's what are you doing here? From below. Hi. What are you doing here first? What? How is anyone else here? This is, this will not do. This will not do. Should I he turns something? around and starts shouting. And come over here! Come over here! Start shouting at other other people behind him. Get get these people out of here! And he starts. Uh, uh, the other, other, uh, he's got like some crew members with him. They just look like basic sailors, um, that are with him. Come over and start, uh, pulling you guys. Uh, it basically grabs a hold of Macius and pulls, uh, pulls Macius up and out. <gasps> and then, like, they start reaching down over the edge, like, come on, come on. Like, they're, they're trying to grab your hand or something like waiting for you to reach out and grab that uh, i reach out and grab grab his hand and pulled up okay uh legs does the same 
Davis, are you going up as well? Sure. All right. So he pulls all of you up and out of there. Goes, what on earth brought you to this place? You're not those cultists, are you? No, no, we are not. Absolutely not. But this, this will not do. This will not do. This is not an area for civilians. Sir, we were just attacked by uh, one of those cultists. Uh, we just, we just showed up. <clears throat> the place we is empty. We saw this thing and we were sailing around and we figured yeah. we'd give it a look. We got, we looked around. The place is totally it's empty. It's a bit empty and kind of boring he, here. He turns yeah. around and motions to one of the uh, other somewhat, somewhat regally dressed people that's standing behind him. Goes, Lieutenant, Lieutenant, come here. Arrest these men immediately. Oh, I want well. them taken back to half water for questioning. Wait, who picked up the gem? Uh, we're not mentioning just anything that. that we have any ornament in that gem. Just, just curious, out of character. Who, who picked it up? I can't remember. I did. Okay, put it in your butt. <laughs> Get the <laughs> fuck out of here. I'm just saying, dude. Give it to me, I'll put no, it in my butt. Shit. Davis, your pocket is starting to feel very hot. Alright, don't put it in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, your, not your pack, your actual pocket. Well, I put it in my pack. Yes, your pocket is starting to feel very hot. Jesus fuck. Uh, I'm already. Am I already? Am I, am I getting pulled up still, or? You're you're already I, up, yeah. Okay. Oh god. I pat myself down. I'm wondering what the fuck's going on. <laughs> you you mentioned. No, my shit on fucking sixty back. <laughs> Sorry. You uh you find the 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 hot part of your your body, uh, and realize that it is your pocket watch. Oh, Jesus, fuck. I pull it out and I fucking, it burns me. I, I, is, is, is it burning? Is it burning hot yet or no? It's not burning hot, no. It's just <clears throat> very, very warm. Let's hold it on the chain. Fuck. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just put it back in for now. Since it's not burning me. Okay. I don't know. Wait, did you open it and look at it? <laughs> oh. No. You're not going to. It's just a fucking watch. It's, it's fucking hot. I mean, come on. It's like, it's warming up for no reason whatsoever. Okay, I'll look at the time. Maybe. All right, uh, Davis also disappears. The fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> wait, wait. You said also disappears. Who disappeared? You. You are gone now. <clears throat> Goodbye. You said also, as in. Well, also, as in like uh, Evelyn. Oh, disappeared. I thought you. I thought you were saying the the dude with the boots fucking disappeared. No, 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 no. Uh, Davis is now missing. I'm just gonna look at the regal. What? Dude. Where did he go? Where did the other one go? What's going on here? Who are you? I. Uh, we have. Uh, uh, Lieutenant, ahead. take these men back for questioning. And the 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 burly the burly dudes grab a hold of you, push you into a a boat. Um, this is ridiculous. That they have nearby. They've clearly been like clearing away at the wreckage to actually make a path for a boat to come up here. Um, they shove you into a boat and uh, and push you off and start taking you back to their ship. Uh, and I think that is a good spot to stop for what the fucking oh, cliffhanger, really? Yeah. <laughs> it chisel checks the time and it just fucking <laughs> just gone. <laughs> Don't worry, guys, I got the loot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Looks like it's loot o'clock around here. <laughs> Takes the crystal and bounces. <laughs> now we're prisoners. So hang on. You, you guys are getting taken to the fucking the bad guy's ship. Fucking yeah, what's Raybor doing? He's just so holding fingers in the holes right now. Davis, le Davis leaves the party. He gets zoned okay, out. Okay, guys. Didn't even Davis. Give him a banana. He's the other party leave notification at <laughs> the top left corner. Davis experiences nothing but pitch black for m m maybe an hour. Uh, unable to feel anything like sensory deprivation entirely. Uh, all of a sudden, you you start to feel as though uh, there's light coming through your your eyelids. You realize your eyes have been like you've been holding them tightly closed. Um, you start to slowly open your eyes. Um, you're you find yourself standing uh, on like a very craggy looking rock. With uh, it's it's very purple light everywhere, um, and there is a fiend standing in front of you. And the fiend 
looks at you, smiles. Greetings, young one. Uh, hi. And that's where we'll stop. For <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to throw that in as well. There you, go. there you go. God, the crystal's got a fucking low jack on it. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted the loot. Have fun with that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this should um, be interesting then. So, yes, that will. Wait, does this mean. <laughs> There we go. Two now find themselves under, three now find themselves under arrest. Uh, Adobo, uh, Macius, and Legs. Davis has disappeared, seemingly teleported to some strange new landscape. But what has become of Brayborn? What will become of the ship? Why do I keep doing this voice? It really hurts. We'll find out later. <laughs>